One of the intriguing features of the settlement when it came is that the victimized under apartheid and the victimizers under apartheid, both of which groups were not small, were now expected to live in a common society in a way as if none of this had ever happened. Uh, in human terms, that is just uh, not realistic, particularly for those who, whose families have been destroyed, family members murdered. So the Truth and Reconciliation Commission was an effort to bring out into the open in a public way the sins of the past. Uh, and if the sinners of the past would own up morally to what they had done, uh, there was at least the possibility of uh, amnesty and the idea that once these confessions had been made and the data assembled, that the country would be able in good conscience to move on uh, and not seek endless retribution on people who are thought to have uh, been part of the, the bad old days. And it did have, I think, the, the useful effect of ensuring that there are relatively few people in contemporary South Africa who, who can still say that the, the, the old pattern was somehow warranted or justified.